Hey, Benji Kaiser here. Welcome to Learning InDesign at Home. And in this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to prepare your InDesign project. So a lot of times, the things we do outside of the software are just as important as how we interact within. And this is a great way to get started. So you're about to set up your InDesign document in order to get going on your project, but first there's a few things you should know about InDesign. InDesign is a layout software. It is not made for image manipulation uh, or anything that you would do in Photoshop like creating digital art or Illustrator making vector illustrations. It is strictly to create layouts. When you bring in images, to InDesign, you're bringing them in as links. So it's important that you catalog them accurately within your folders. You don't want to have missing links when you go to print. The images you bring in need to be CMYK and 300 dpi. You want high quality images when you send your document to the printer. All right, we're going to head on over to my screen now and get a little bit more clarity on the things that we're going to learn today in preparing your InDesign document. All right, welcome over to my screen here within the InDesign software. And as you see, I have this tutorials folder set up in order to help you understand what we're gonna be doing today. When I talked about organizing your folders, this is extremely important. You wanna make sure that you're pulling images from the same folder. And for us today, we're gonna to be pulling them from the tutorial folder. Anytime you bring in a new image, you wanna make sure it's contained in these folders. Same thing with your Photoshop documents. You wanna create a separate folder to house those as well. And any text documents you have in order to fill your document with text. You wanna make sure these are all contained and organized. If your links go missing, you're gonna have 72 DPI files and it's gonna print extremely pixelated and it will not be a high quality project. All right, we're gonna create a fourth folder here called Layout, and that's where we're gonna keep our design document. All right, let's come over here and create a new document. All right, so quickly, I'm just gonna show you how to place an image from that folder, and that way you can understand why it's so important to organize your folders correctly. So I'm gonna come up here and click File, Place, and we'll navigate over to the desktop. That's where I have this. I recommend organizing what best suits you. And we're gonna place an image from our Links folder, and we'll place this image here. All right, so now that image is placed there. Now watch when we go back and delete this image. All right, it's missing. So what happens when you pull images from random folders and then you just happen to delete that image and you don't know where it is? you're gonna end up with low quality images. So it is very important to make sure that you keep track of your images and you organize them well. All right, now that all your files are organized and correctly cataloged in a good file structure, it's time to make sure that all those images are not RGB, but in fact CMYK, because when you're printing, this is gonna be extremely important. So join me in the next tutorial to learn how to convert your images from RGB to CMYK. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest tutorials for graphic design and hit the like button if this video has helped you. And we'll see you here on the next episode.